Hello, once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are near Nashville, Tennessee, and we will be watching the framing of a new 60 foot steel distribution pole. This new pole has been installed on an energized line, so we will also watch crew move all three phases of the energized primary. Our participating utility is Nashville Electric Service, NES, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now, if you did not see our preceding video, which showed the installation of this pole, this is a long shot of that 60-foot steel distribution pole. Directly behind it is the wooden pole that will be replaced, and you see some line sleeves up on top to protect the workers as they go up and frame this new pole. And our first task is to lift, set in place, and secure the new cross arm at the top of this new distribution pole. Hold that right there. Down just a little. Yep. Next, we can start installing the three new insulators that will hold the three phases of primary that are coming over to this new distribution pole and cross arm. And then next, install what are called line rollers. These are used to pull new wire through as they are going to upgrade this line after they get the pole installed. They will be upgrading, increasing power on this circuit. And we also see them installing a yellow fiberglass extension arm for movement of the probably phases. Probably go out a little farther if you want to, Todd, to allow for that uh, that uh, other uh, roller. And then we can see here as they finish up on the road side of the cross arm, there's going to be two rollers and two insulators on this side with one and one on the other side. And the other thing you're seeing in this shot is that yellow fiberglass extension arm. And now you see them finish up the framing of that top cross arm and now it's time to move the lines over to the new cross arm. And here you see them preparing for that and I'll let the crew leader and the video show and describe what is happening. Alright Todd, go ahead and unlock it and then grab that, grab it with your hook. Grab your wire with your hook. Try to keep it from going towards Luke. Got it? Now they will do this with all three phases and here's a nice shot of how that line clamps into a temporary insulator on the temporary extension arm. Coming out. And here just moving that third phase over and as they did before placing it in the insulator on the temporary extension arm on the new cross arm. Yeah. And next they're going to cut off and take away the top of the old pole that's being replaced, wooden pole. And now it's time to measure and drill for the placement of another cross arm. This one will be at a bit of a diagonal and it will feed another primary buck line that crosses this road. Just like that. And you see on the ground here, the ground crew we got bolt. handing him that next cross arm and the bolts that go with it. And here they are back up on the pole, attaching and securing that cross arm to feed the buck lines. Next they will install some fuses or cutouts to this second cross arm. And 
and they will measure, cut, and coil the leads that go from the buck cross arm up to the primary cross arm at the top of the bolt, set them in place, and they'll come back later to make all of those connections or leads. And while there are other tasks to perform, like installing guy wires for strength in high wind conditions, this concludes our TND How video on the framing of a new steel distribution pole and an energized line move. Once again, our participating utility was Nashville Electric Service. This video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.